I think we're all aware in this country uh, of the president's affection and respect for the military. Uh, we've been uh, putting together some options. We'll send them up to the White House uh, for a decision. That was Defense Secretary James Mattis today addressing President Trump's request for a grand military parade in Washington, D.C. This to honor our troops and tout our military equipment. The parade is still, of course, in the preliminary planning stages, but President Trump is pressing the Defense Department to, quote, explore the idea. Joining me now to explore the idea, Leah Gabriel, Fox News co correspondent, also former U.S. Navy fighter pilot, along with retired U.S. Marine Corps gunny sergeant Jesse Jane Duff, currently a senior fellow at the London Center for Policy Research. <clears throat> All right, uh, Leah, President Trump said he was struck by the parade he saw in France, the Bastille Day. Uh, you know, and it's interesting because when, they, when France talks about the, uh, that parade, no one says it's militaristic or out of bounds. But President Trump says he wants to do it. And all of a sudden, the comparisons are being made to North Korea. Well, because that's what North Korea does. That's what China does. That's what Russia does. And that Bastille Day parade goes back to the time of Napoleon. I'm giving President Trump a pass on this one. I do think he wants to support our military. But I think if he asks any one of his close advisors that are military generals, they're going to tell him, do not do this. So I say, President Trump, listen to them. The way you honor and respect our troops is you give them the required time off that they need and you pay them more money. You give them time to spend with their family. It does not help combat operations for people to spit shine their shoes, practice marching with, bi which by the way, we don't go around marching in formation all the time when we are trigger pullers, people who drop bombs on targets in the military. So having people spit shine things, shine up their missiles and their bombs is completely unnecessary. It's not going to support what we need to improve troop morale right now. Jesse Jane, uh, I know that the military just got uh, one of the biggest inc pay increases that it's gotten recently. So, and I think morale has been on the rise. Uh, but there are certainly issues that have lingered for a long time. What's your thoughts on a parade for the folks in the military and for those not in the military to maybe have a greater respect for them? I absolutely celebrate it. The last parade that I ever saw was in 1991. Most The average age of a United States Marine is only 21 years old. They've never been celebrated by this country. And with that said, we need to have many of our units that have had overwhelming accomplishments out there and get honored by the American people. All their stories have often been forgotten, how they've defeated the enemy time and time again. And I think this is a great opportunity to bring the corpsmen out who saved lives, the medics, bring out those fighter pilots, because you know what? This country country has to understand that only 1% of this country serves and protects them. And it's a very honorable way. We don't do it enough in this country, except maybe on the 4th of July. And often then, our military members aren't even present to be there. And that's why I'm calling for a military, a support our military march on Washington, march on New York, march on Los Angeles, march on every major city in the United States where citizens get out and they march to support our troops. But the way we prepare troops for combat is not by making them go march in a parade. So let's have a survey. Let's actually survey our military service members and see how many of them actually want to go out and practice marching in formation and moving airplanes and missiles. We don't have to practice. Well, Marines that's already know and how And you know what, Jesse we Jane, I know that you are excellent <laughs> at logistics and nobody better than you could move all those troops and equipment I'd be to Washington. But I for trigger to come pullers, to we want to be combat We're ready, not, not parade ready. Right, Sorry. Ladies. Uh, I think it'd be great. It, I think we should probably have a poll. Maybe Military Times or someone like that could do it. It'd be interesting to see what the rank and file say. I've gotten tweets that go both ways. Ladies, thank you both for your service. Now here's Lou.